Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over the main differences of the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus. So the very first thing that distinguishes these IQ2 systems is that the IQ2 Plus actually has PowerG built in. So what is PowerG? PowerG is a different kind of sensor that DSC manufactures and uh, with the actual IQ2 Plus because that's the one that has the PowerG daughter board card built in, you can use PowerG sensors at a maximum range of 2,000 feet. And then if you add a repeater, you can even extend that to about 4,000 feet. Um, now PowerG, if you use it with a Neo panel, they have been said that they can transmit at two kilometers and then adding a repeater, four kilometers. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind. With the IQ2 Plus, the PowerG sensors are rated to work at about 2,000 feet. With a repeater, it would be 4,000 feet. Um, now that is the IQ2 plus the IQ2 does not have power G built in the IQ2 just has the normal 319.5 megahertz receiver, which means it'll work with Colsus sensors, the S line sensors and the inner logics sensors. Um, now the IQ2 plus on top of having the power G daughter board card built in, it also has uh, another legacy card built in. So there's actually three different flavors to the IQ2 Plus. There's the IQ2 Plus with Power G and uh, the Colsys Legacy and Inologix, so it would support S line and 319.5 megahertz frequency sensors. There's the IQ2 Plus with Power G and Honeywell and 2 gig daughter board card built in. That means it supports the 345 megahertz frequency. And then there's the IQ2 Plus with PowerG and DSC sensors, which means it supports 433 megahertz receiver. Um, so there's the three different flavors. Um, um, now, this is obviously obviously comes in handy if you guys have pre-existing sensors in the house that may be Honeywell, DSC, Interlogix, whatever it is. If you guys have existing sensors in the house and you guys want to use them, you just have to make sure you get the correct IQ2+. Plus. Um, now, if you have Honeywell or DSC sensors, that's probably when you would need the IQ2+. Plus. If you guys have normal Honeywell sensors, you guys can get the no I'm sorry. If you guys have normal Qolsys or Interlogix sensors, you can always get the normal IQ2. Um, but then if you want to add power G, you want to make sure you get the IQ2 plus. Now the panels are pretty much the same in every other way though. They all support uh, 242 user codes. They all support 128 wireless zones. They all support Z-Wave plus. They all come in either AT&T LTE or Verizon LTE. Uh, they all also are multi-partition systems. So a partition is if you want to like separate a, a, a group of zones individually from the rest of your alarm system. So if you have an office in your house and you want to independently arm that from the rest of your system, you can set that as a partition. The IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus both support up to four partitions. One other thing about the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus is that they both use alarm.com service. So if you guys are looking at getting these systems monitored or even self-monitored, meaning you only have access to the application only, and then it's up to you to contact the authorities, um, we do have self-monitoring and monitoring plans, but they both require alarm.com. They both connect to the alarm.com servers, and that's what you would use to actually control your system from your phone, and that's what the system would report to um, in the event of an alarm. Now, both systems also have Wi-Fi built in, so they can actually connect to your Wi-Fi as well as a cellular connection, and uh, basically it would be using both communication paths to send out any alarm signals in case of an alarm. Now, one thing about the IQ2 and the IQ2 Plus is that they can use image sensors. However, there's some weird things with image sensors, right? So if you have a normal IQ2 and you're looking at, am, at adding uh, the alarm.com image sensors, you need to add the image sensor daughter board card that needs to go into the system. If you guys have a system that's using PowerG, the IQ2 Plus, uh, you guys can also use alarm.com image sensors or you can use PowerG image sensors. They pretty much both do the exact same thing. Image sensors is basically a motion sensor with a built-in camera. When it detects motion, it takes a still picture and it sends it to the panel and it also sends it to the alarm.com application. 
Now, the caveat I was talking about was if you have a Power G, an IQ2 Plus, and you're looking at using an alarm.com image sensor, the Power G daughter board card and the image sensor daughter board card can be installed, right? There's enough slots for all of them, but the only thing is the antenna uh, that it uses, both the Power G and the um, alarm.com image sensor daughter board card use the same antenna. So if you guys have an IQ2 Plus and you end up getting a, power, a daughter board card for the alarm.com image sensors, you need to pick and choose which which daughter board card you're gonna use the antenna for. Now, what this is gonna mean for you guys is if you're using Power G for the range to do the 2,000 feet, you're not gonna get the 2,000 feet if you switch the antenna to the alarm.com image sensor daughter board card. You actually, it's gonna drop down to about three feet. So 2,000 feet to three feet. It's gonna be quite a difference. So make sure that if you guys are planning on using the alarm.com image sensors and you're using that daughter board card, you might as well just get a normal IQ2. There's no reason to get the IQ2 Plus. Again, unless you have wireless Honeywell or DSC sensors, then you kind of need the IQ2 Plus. And then at that, um, yes, then you need the IQ2 Plus, which uses PowerG and then also has that legacy daughter board card. But then you don't need the alarm.com image sensors. You can just get the PowerG image sensors. So there's the ways to work around it. I'm just making sure that you guys are aware that if you guys do plan on having PowerG and the alarm.com image sensor, you're going to have to pick and choose which one you want to use the antenna on. Now, the main selling point for the IQ2 Plus is PowerG. PowerG is what makes the IQ2 Plus an IQ2 Plus. It's what adds that, it's what adds that plus at the very end. Um, so basically if you guys aren't planning on using Power G, there's no reason for you guys to get an IQ2 Plus. You can always try to find an IQ2. Um, again, everyone loves the range. It's a lot safer. The other cool thing about Power G is, is that it's fully encrypted. It's a 128-bit AES, uh, Advanced Encryption Standard. So you guys will actually have fully encrypted sensors if you guys use Power G. Um, I always recommend Power G to everyone. It's probably, some, they're probably some of the best sensors out there. They're also pretty much within the same price range as the other sensors. Um, so, you know, it's a win-win for you guys. Uh, but again, if you guys aren't planning on using Power G, or if you guys aren't planning on taking over any Honeywell or DSC sensors, then you guys don't need to be, don't, don't need to buy the IQ2 Plus. You can just buy the normal IQ2. If you guys have any other questions about the IQ2 or the IQ2 Plus, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Um, also, if you're interested in monitoring, feel free to contact us as well. We do monitor IQ2 Plus systems and offer alarm.com support and a lot of free technical support as well to all of our monitored customers. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications so when we upload new content like this, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.